What's up, guys? So, you know, time is very early impressions. This character's been out for like, what, three days, four days? I don't even know. I've already lost track of time. I've been playing this character a lot, though. I did like a eight and a half hour stream with him a couple days ago. I was entering a box and all in a tournament with him. I don't play online anymore, and I'm also done with it after the box. That was my one exception. <laughs> but, like, I'm liking this character a lot. He's very fun. I'm probably into a couple locals with him. And... Yeah, let's just talk about what this character is. Um, I said before this character was released based on the trailer, he's gonna be a character that doesn't appear strong, like right off the bat, people can say, oh, he looks kinda weak, and not realize that a lot of his strength isn't in like the obviously broken stuff, but it's in the more technical stuff and the meticulous like things you have to find through landing, along with the fact that he's a very versatile character with very few weaknesses. Because I think in Ultimate, a lot of characters tend to be like very, very skewed towards their strengths and weaknesses. You know, like, very good at what they do and then very bad at what they don't do or what they're exploited by. And I don't think a sort of falls into that. I think the only thing, really, like, the only thing he has that's, like, particularly exploitable is just, um, his weight, obviously, and then, like, his really bad double jump. Not even the floatiness, necessarily, because being floaty can be good, especially with his mobility in the air, but just, like, this double jump. But outside of that, he's actually very well-rounded. Um, he kind of... He kind of has a little bit of everything. He has a burst game with like dash attack. He has zoning with his sword moves, his projectiles. He has a good combo game. Uh, he has good recovery tools, edge guard tools. He has a counter, which I think is really nice to have. He has these wide hitboxes, of course, that linger. So he really has quite a bit of stuff. He's a little bit slow, of course, but not like unbearably slow, to be honest. And yeah, so and I think this character, how he's going to evolve, He's, and honestly, this is why I think this might be a me character, right? Crazy to say that. Um, the last time I played a DLC character, it felt like the character was like a me character for sure. If I was Min Min, maybe C, even though I was playing C, that kind of felt like he wasn't for me. But like, yeah, so I think this character is going to be a very good, like, defensive spacing based combo character. He's going to be able to, like, high wall, you just jumping a lot. And it's going to be hard to actually approach this character, like, between, like, just his floaty jumps. Which are super low committal, along with having nice disjoint aerials with the multiple hits to mix people up. And the projectile game. Like that? Barbaga is a very annoying walling tool. This move right here, pretty punishable if you read it, but still really good. This right here, amazing just spacing tool, walling tool. It can be used to like poke shields down. There's a lot of things. So then like, you can just cycle the spells very quickly, right? I was thinking Short Thunder in particular is very strong. Because I think the tighter spread is really nice as opposed to Standing Thunder, which is like a little bit too far. It's kind of like using like Palutena like Explosive Flame where it's like the far version is good but sometimes it's a bit too far but the close version is like really annoying because if you're next to Palutena she can just go like dash back side B close range it's like shoot. Yes yeah, so, like that's really strong and then you get so much off of simple hits right if you just just like dip. Oh, damn it. If you just get something like oh I'm just jumping mixing up. Oh you messed up a little bit. Ah, oh, you messed up a little bit? There you go, combo. So, and the fact that that always works is a big deal, because you can't like overextend versus him too much, because you might just nerf forward smash, you might just die. And then he also has stuff like, you know, just normal combos like this. Oh my god, I can't. Um, like some basic stuff like that, which is really nice. A really good juggling game, because you know he's kind of slow and floaty. This up here is really nice. Like, just doing like this is really nice. Along with this dash attack to catch landings and projectiles as well. And it countered upon any sort of aggression if, like, someone's too obvious. And they're playing, like, character, like, a headbutt with these big, powerful hitboxes they want to throw at disadvantage. So it's like, he has a very strong juggle game that converts, and he converts into that very easily from his normal combos. Like, ah, I do this. Okay, let's just go for this. Okay, that's just more to the side, but yeah, I can say, like, this. Oh, juggle time. Just keep doing this. And come up the top as well. And it's like, he's really scary to be juggled by. So the fact that he sets it up so easily, it's so consistent. So safe as well, because it's just a big hitbox. And he's so floaty, he can drift out of bad spots in case he overextends. And he can kill. Like, that's really strong. And I won't be surprised if his ledge trapping is also going to be very strong. Because, like, he has for ledge trapping... He has like this can actually be a decent light trapping tool, but Blizzaga is a really nice light trapping tool. It catches a lot of options. 
having like these uh this nair is also really good because it just like stays out for so long same with forward to an extent but more so like nair if i jump above him i said the jogging is good already he has a dash tech to cover like ledge hold and ledge jump every time right can catch regular get up as well lingering forward smash means like for like ledge trapping you just kind of do like that every time is the right you can just die and that's really scary to deal with down smash beats a lot of ledge options like here beats get up attack and have a roll uh regular get up so he has like a lot of ways to ledge trap with either consistency or with like power so that's very strong and of course it's edge guarding game right right skull sage hit people let's mess up uh whatever but it's like he has a lot to work with for edge guarding. So that's because he can go so deep in recovery, and that's a big deal. Being floaty and having a deep recovery means he can stall Sage, use the dish joints, use the projectiles, and make it back from anywhere. While reversing people as well because of his upbeat. So that is I cannot like say enough how useful that is. Like that's a very strong thing to have. So you're kind of just gonna have a character with like a well-rounded defensive neutral that converts any hit into like a good advantage state and a good combo state. And some of the combos I've seen at Fast Followers with like noops as I've heard them called and their loops are pretty nuts. Especially with like platforms, you can get like a lot of these going. Obviously I'm not good at them yet, so I'm judging not going to do this kind of stuff. But he has like quite a bit of nonsense I'd say. Um, they may say, oh, it's weaknesses, right? So he has a little bit of trouble being aggressive. I will give it that. So it's like... Actually, I want to mention one other thing before I did that. So his counter, while projectiles get sent behind him, certain things, like let's say items, um, or like I think like a snake up smash, it like gets bounced back instead of behind him, and that can be really good. You find a cave rule, you just reflect the crown, it goes right back at him, and you can pressure him really aggressively, or like... You're fighting Inkling, you can just counter the bomb, it becomes yours. So, his counter is like a decent uh, reflector in some matchups, which is really nice to have. But it's also a pretty solid counter. Not amazing, but I guess drop them. But anyway, disadvantages. So, his main weakness, I think, is going to be against characters that are just really good at camping, like lots of projectiles. His floatiness and lack of speed and not having, like, particularly amazing hitboxes... Is gonna hurt. He's got trouble approaching. So I think there's gonna be a weakness for him as characters like, let's say, Duck Hunt. I can see, like, the Ling, Belmont. But even then, because he's floaty with very good air mobility, it's hard to actually hit him with those projectiles. Like, you can keep him out, but it's like, if you're a Belmont player trying to actually hit Sora, he can just easily maneuver around, like, all those projectiles, all those, like, whip attacks. I think Toon Link, same thing. Projectiles easily maneuvered around. Duck Hunt, same thing. Just like all this air mobility and the fact you can like really like stay in the air a long time means you can just jump over projectiles and you can just kind of find these angles to approach people from. And in fact has his own projectiles which are good. It's like those matchups are gonna be annoying and very slow paced. And I can low key see him being a character that kind of has like these long potentially timeout based matchups. But overall, that's kind of like not a big issue even though I think that's gonna be frustrating for Frustration for a lot of people. When it comes to fighting, I think Fast Falls Heavyweights, his combo game is going to be really good. But I think really fast, aggressive characters like Roy and Fox might overwhelm him, and those matchups might be bad. I say might because his combo game is on them is so good. But like he might just get overwhelmed and blown up by their raw speed because his frame data isn't the best. Um, a lot of his attacks have a little bit of startup, not the best end leg. He doesn't have the best stuff on block. So it's like, he can't like pressure shields too, too well. Although mix up things like this and drifting back. He can bait out stuff on shield. And this is actually a big deal. If someone like blocks an attack, he can be like, all right, run up there, drift back, bait out like a rising aerial, and then just punish. So like, that's his shield mix of game. It's not like just committing to attacks. It's going for attack, drifting back, and seeing what happens. Which is going to be a little awkward to like use when going for combos because maybe like oh, i'm gonna jump in there and then like drift back and then like oh i hit him well i don't know he can still, oh yeah he can still drift back and like still like hit people too so like even like when he hits shields 
Like, he'll be fine drifting back and still getting his conversions. Even though they're not the best ones, potentially. So actually, that entire thing about shielding being good versus him, honestly, might not be true. Oh, his grab game being poor is going to hurt. Like, he has kind of a bad grab game. Low range grab. Um, I believe it's good frame data. Let me check if it's on ultimate frame data. But I believe he probably has a frame 6 standing grab. And everything else comes with those kind of, like, get reps. Um, no, frame 7 grab. Yes, if he grab, not much range. He has nice kill throws with up throw and back throw. And you can get, like, decent combos at, like, 0% off down throw. I'm sure he has some, like, tech chase stuff as well. With, like, forward throw. I think, like, like this can be a tech chase setup. But overall, his grab game does hurt him a little bit. His out show game is... Eh. I think narrow shield's okay, but it's not that fast. But it's gonna be, like, kind of a safe, like, disengage tool. And up B is a nice, like, hey, you overextended. Frame line, out up B. And I think that is a big deal. Especially because you can just be your wrist as well for cross-ups. So, that's pretty nice, It's but it's gonna be, he'll get pressured. Um, what else? Characters with extremely good recoveries might be a problem for him, because he might be a bit reliant on edge guarding. Oh, so I'm not even sure that's true. Like, that's the thing, even like talking about this character, I said at the beginning, he's versatile. I'm trying to think of his weaknesses, and then I'm like, oh, he has his weakness, but then he has like this thing and that thing. And it's like, even like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of other archetypes that make for a problem for him. Like, combo based characters, he's floaty, he's lightweight. Outside of the double jump issue, which honestly might not matter that much, like, he'll probably be fine because he won't get comboed too hard, I don't think. Most floaty characters don't get comboed that badly. Um, apparently, also, his feet aren't a hurt box. So, like, that's not, like, he's a smaller hurt box than you'd think, which is pretty relevant, I'd say, especially because his feet are so big. Yeah, no, I'm actually trying to think of like particularly bad weaknesses right now. And maybe closing up stocks. Like maybe, but then like he has very simple things like that being pretty reliable. So I don't even know. That's what I'm saying. Like that's why I keep saying with this video is like I, I know people think this character doesn't seem that great. And I'm looking at him and it's like yeah, but he seems, like, not bad at all. Like, where's the clear, like, this is how you beat this character win condition? And that's why I don't see with this character. I don't see the how do you beat him win condition. So, yeah, that's my impression on this character. Overall, I think he's going to be very good. I think he's going to be, with some time, very, very strong. Um, probably underrated. But we'll see how he grows, of course. Hope you guys liked a little bit of insight. I'll catch you all later.